so here we go. What I have in this case is x raised to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 12, all divided by x to the plus 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little synthetic division. So when you using synthetic division, we need to make sure that first we have a binomial raised to the first power. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that binomial and we're going to set it equal to 0. We'll get to more of why we're setting it equal to 0 later on, but it is related to our factor of zeros and factors. Here is a factor, so we're going to find the 0. So x equals negative 2. Then we take that negative 2 and we put it outside a nice little box that we have here. And then what we're going to do is now we're going to take our divisor, I'm sorry, our dividend, and we're going to take the coefficients of each one of our terms um, of our polynomial. Now remember I said each one of our terms, not just the terms that are visible, because if I'm missing a term in my descending order of a polynomial, I have to make sure I include that uh, coefficient. So if we were going to go in order, I would have x to the fourth, plus 0x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 12. Right? If I was going to go to descending order, I could even put an x squared x to the 0 power there. But you need to make sure you have descending order. So if you're missing a term like we are in this case, we're missing x cubed, I need to make sure I include that 0. And if we don't have a coefficient that we see, we know that the coefficient has to be 1. I'm back. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to label the coefficients of 1, negative 5, 4, up. Oh, I already went too fast, so I'm starting to make the mistakes. Of 1, 0, negative 5, 4, and 12. Okay? Now what we're going to do is when I apply synthetic division, I bring down the first term. So 1, bring it down. Now I'm going to multiply diagonally and add vertically. 1 times negative 1 is going to be negative 2, and we bring it over to the next set. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 2. 4 plus 2 is going to be positive 6. 6 times negative 2 is going to be negative 12. 12 plus negative 12 is 0. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, if my last term is a 0, that means my remainder is 0. And therefore, this binomial evenly divides into this polynomial. But what's even more importantly is it divides. How many, how many times evenly does it divide? It divides into the evenly. Well, this is our time. Well, that doesn't really make sense. What do those values mean? These values represent our coefficients, of, our coefficients and our constants of our uh, quotient by, uh, polynomial. So to write down as our, to define the quotient polynomial, we start with 0, which is our remainder. Our final term is always going to be a remainder. So we have a remainder, constant, linear quadratic, and cubic. So therefore, x plus 2 divides into x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 12, x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 6 times, as that's going to be your quotient for the division of those two polynomials, x.